Welcome to an Unruly Guide step-by-step -step video. This video is part of our tutorials that offer step-by-step -step guidance through ebook formatting, book cover design, print on demand, and more. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to take a well-formatted Word file, convert it to a clean HTML, and import it into Sigil 7.2. In this example, I'm going to use text from a public domain book from Gutenberg.org. This example, it's called In the Hands of the Cave Dwellers by G.A. Hentry. When you're working in your Word file, the first thing you need to do is make sure that all your Heading 1, Heading 2, and Normal text is set properly. The problem with most formatting files is the styling and formatting is too erratic. So the best thing to do is keep your file simple. Here I have a chapter, this will be a subhead, and this will be normal. So you simply highlight each one and choose it from the drop-down menu up here. And you can see that the text here is indeed normal. If we scroll down, you can see that all chapters are set. And this is what you need to do before you format to HTML and then bring it into Sigil. What we want to do now is highlight your entire Word file and copy and paste it into the HTML editor. So to do this, I place my cursor anywhere on the page and I select Command A to highlight all and Command C to copy it to my clipboard. Now I need to go to my HTML editor of choice. Now there's many HTML editors out there, such as wordtocleanhtml.com, but this HTML Color Codes HTML editor is the one I prefer. It has the least amount of issues that I found when formatting both fiction or nonfiction. Now we still have the Word file copied to our clipboard from the previous step. Now we want to paste it into this HTML editor and have it converted to a clean HTML. To do this, place your cursor anywhere in the open field and hit Command V for Victor. Now you can see that it pasted in. Now sometimes when you paste in, you're going to end up with a lot of style sheets that come in from Microsoft. Now this doesn't happen on every formatted book in Word, but sometimes you will end up with the styles also pasted in at the top. If you do, just simply highlight them and delete them before you convert to HTML. Or you can do it afterwards, but usually before is a lot easier. Once you have all your text in and it is cleaned up, you're going to click this little button that says HTML. And a pop-up window will show up, so you have to have your pop-ups enabled. You can see that it actually pulled in perfectly. The H1 and the H2 tags came in, and all my paragraph tags. So again, I'm going to have my cursor anywhere on the page, go Command A, Command C, and now I'm going to paste it into my Sigil program. Now I have my page in Code View, and if you remember how to do that, it's the small little brackets at the top next to the open book page. In Code View, you're going to paste your converted HTML Word file between the opening and closing body tags. Now in some cases, you may have an opening and closing paragraph tag, which may look something like this. It might also have a non-breaking space or a break code in between. But it's the opening and closing P or paragraph tag is what you're looking for. So if you have an opening and closing paragraph tag, you will highlight both the opening and closing tag, delete them, and then you're going to hit Command V or Control V as in Victor, to paste your HTML Word file in place. The key is to get your HTML content in between the opening and closing body tag. This pastes all the HTML code of your manuscript from the HTML editor. We're currently in Code View. Now we're going to switch to Book View. And you can see here, when I scroll to the top, we have our Chapter or Heading 1 tags and our heading to and our text all the way down. So in the next video I'm going to show you how you can split your chapters, create your table of contents, and finish up your ebook.